Relaxing anime music. Alrighty. I'm fucking dying? Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> I'm trying to fucking record a YouTube video, bro. Holy shit. Okay, is everything else set up? Great. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, please like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch. Today I'm doing a commentary in Masters. And yep, that's right, I already died once and burned my clan for no reason, and I'm against a double AP bot lane, and I forgot to take magic resist. So obviously things are going great. But you know what? I'm here to show you guys how you can win your games from behind. And frag out. Okay? So, I'm taking PTA over a bloodline and coup de gras with Nimbus Gathering. I will be going Immortal Shield Bow this game, and I am going to obviously look to get some magic just later on, either in a QSS or a wit's end. But yeah, so for now we're kind of getting perma shoved and we're just chilling. Unfortunate that I don't have cleanse anymore. Listen, I was trying to prepare this intro. And then, uh, yeah, the game blew up. I got, I got invaded at tower. It was some unprecedented aggression coming out from the enemy team, all right? These guys, these Heimerdinger Zoe bot players are just built different, as you can say. Um, so yeah, right now, basically like this lane, especially because I don't have MR, it's just, um, it's it's really, we're just chilling. Like, we, we can't walk into them. I, I think that if they miss position, it's like pretty easy to kill Zoe, but, um, we can't just randomly walk into them. I think Zoe's wasting a lot of mana. I also don't think Zoe support's like all that good. So, we will go from there. Gonna Q this wave. And, ooh, oh my god, almost perfect last hitting. We're just trying to go for them to burn resources. It, it's unfortunate that they just able to get prio. This lane's like actually sometimes playable if you do shove it out, but uh, obviously it's not the case. So my Braum is just eating these Zoe sleeps. He's getting the moss, but that's a nice Q. Gonna auto once here. Heimer is tanking for Zoe, which is fine. Gonna go for a quick little swap combo. Heimer has TP. Uh, I'm gonna pop my potion here. And also, you can notice I started long short three potions because there's no point going D blade in a lane like this where you don't really need the stats of Doran's blade in any of the fights. Most of the damage you're gonna be taking is gonna come from poke, meaning that it's easier to just chill out and have extra potions instead of committing towards a um, D-Blade that's gonna just give you stats that you don't actually really need. My team is falling apart already, by the way. So it's not only am I behind, I need to somehow find a way to carry dog teammate. Very nice. This is how I like to start my morning, actually. A little bit of adversity, okay? I wake up, I take a cold shower at 4 a.m. And then I go to my business meetings. Please put your passive on literally anybody, Brom. Oh! I really don't want to back here. I need to catch this wave. I'm gonna pop my potions this day. I I don't. I really don't want to miss this wave. Also, my jungler's here, so I don't think I would suffer too much. So in this situation, um, what you do is you actually just clear the wave itself, the first wave. And, um, cool. Smooth moves, Heimerdinger. That's fine. We got Heimer Flash. And I think Heimer can stay, but in that situation, I think it's good for me to catch that wave here. Um, I really want to get some matches, but I don't think it's worth itemizing towards MR just yet. Because, um, even though they have, they have a lot of AP, they do. I think Noon Quiver would be really nice. I'm farming a lot, and then I go towards her refillable. And this is a nice back here because this is gonna give me easier last hitting, easier dodging skill shots, and also sustain. So this is a very nice back for me. And uh, I pinged the Zoe Mia. And because they have no flashes, uh, this should be like really easy repeat kills. So maybe I could have got a pink cord, but we should be fine. <clears throat> I gotta make sure to drink water today. 
Yo, Polar Seltzer, sponsor me. Great. So I'm back in lane. Heimer did not get an ideal recall. So the number one recall, or the ideal recall for AP bot laners is they always want to have, I think it's still called Lost Chapter. They want their, uh, they want their item that gives them mana back for perma shoving. And so because he doesn't actually have a perma shove item, it's going to be a lot harder for him to completely, uh, I like this. I, I, I like this a lot, actually. I, I think this is really good if we just want to go in here. Um, I guess not. So like right there, you notice how they burned all their cooldowns. So my Brahma is scared, and which I understand. He's like, oh my god, dude, like, I'm half HP even though I put my shield. No one cares, Brahm. If they burn their cooldowns, we need to go for the punish. So, um, walking up here. Uh, a little awkward. It's all good though. And my job is just last hit. If they waste cooldowns, I go in for the punish. Ooh. Brom, get in there, dude! Uh, oh, their mid laner's rotating first. I need help, team. This is so XD! Okay. I can't believe I followed that play. I, I, on, I'm just disappointed in myself there. I can't believe I followed that play. That play is so freaking bad. That play is bad because our mid laner has no prio. So if we ever, ever go for a projected play, Talon will be there 100% first every time. So I don't know what cocaine Zach is snorting before these ganks, but there's no way that works. Now I feel jabated. Yo, go, 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 auto, auto, auto. Yes, sir. He has no mana. Okay, and we're back to square one. We have to just recall here as soon as possible. We're out of resources. I think on my immortal shield bow, maybe this game is playable. Thankfully, no one else is here on the map. So I'm going to be looking to shove. I'm still dis- No, actually, I'm not. I'm a little disappointed in myself for finding that play. That was just bad. Like, that's just bad. I'm going to pay me a higher might be there. Um... Don't look at this play. Nice, that's huge, that's huge. Okay, I'm gonna get a vamp set. I'm just going towards Immortal Shobo as soon as possible. I'm gonna look at the map. And guys, like, you always gotta look at the map in these games. I'm not too sure why I wasn't. But look at the map, figure out what you wanna do. This game, Immortal Shield Bow, and then I'm just, I'm set. Immortal Shield Bow. Little magic resist. I'm chilling. But I gotta look at the map. No more randomly falling ganks. And I, I'm down a lot at EXP right now. Oh. What? Who are. Who's paying you? Who's paying you? I'm not paying you for that. Anyways, this is why we make our own decisions from now on because when you have supports that are randomly just flashing in when I don't know how he even expects me to make it over there There's there's just no point now Thankfully this Heimerdinger is just auto shoving for no reason if I was this Heimerdinger like a lot of Heimerdingers I think just shove because um, That's how Heimerdingers like to play they just shove 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 get prio but actually um that was just a really good situation where if he froze there, I, I'd be out of the game. So, uh, just some food for thought. And I know he doesn't have ult for a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of playing up and I'm seeing if I can actually get anything going here. Because I think this is a window where I can go. I'm gonna hold my ulti here on the sun. Perfect. And that's why you go cleanse in this matchup. So against Zoe, Fid, yo, cleanse is so free. Why do we go for that? We know Harmony doesn't have ult. And so basically, so long as I get easy setup and catch them off guard, that's like catching AP champs off guard is where you want to be in these matchups. Just catch them off guard, punish them on cooldowns. Boom. 
kill. Also, Brahma Pillars is just so OP. He's sending here super well. So I'm gonna recall right away. I know I was saying I was gunning for the Immortal Shield Bow. I'm feeling the tier two boots right now. I'm not gonna get another pink word, but I just wanna get back there. And now I'm gonna look to stay in lane for 1.2k. Drag is in 120, but it's a little bit troll because our whole team is just behind across the board. We're gonna get our mythics a bit later than them, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm thinking in my hit is we're gonna give two drags and we can play for the third. So unless it looks really good, I'm saying give second drag. And it's always good to have an idea of like what drags you're going to contest and which ones you're not. So Aurelia is strong here, but in terms of everything else, we're not we're not in like a really big rush to do anything. So Heimer does not have Mythic yet. My Akshan is running it down. Not going to last, considering dodging this game because this guy's like on a you know five game losing streak. But content had to be made. FF in three. No, it's just not happening. I'm here to win. You can suck my Magnum Dong. I'm here to play. So I'm going to switch up this wave, and then I'm going to crash it, and I'm never going to greed stay against the fiddle six. This is just on the field's top, actually, I think. Unless that was this clone. But yeah, something you learn uh, about like certain jungle matchups is that you just never greed stay against the fiddle. Whenever you greed stay against the fiddle, consider yourself dead. No cap, like that guy will be there every time you you're like eh, maybe I get a, he's gonna be there. That's that's what they they fiddlesticks and like champs like Nunu are so good at punishing greed. I'm gonna play up here. I'm away stun, and I'm a bit scared of lane. I think I should have got a lane ward down earlier this game because uh fiddlesticks is pretty good lane ganks. So I'm forced to just chill out. And Heimer's back to perma shoving, which is good for me because okay. I'm gonna have to block the chat apparently. Uh, show ally chat no more. Uh, great. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Back to the commentary. And we're here, and we're off to the races. And Zoe is flying out of there at mock speed, and Heimerdinger is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I'm locked in a contested one v one with the Heimer. Aurelia's here, so I'm also here. Auto key with Infernum. And so in that situation, you're gonna notice that I had to match the Heimer in there. And if you're wondering why I had to match the Heimer in there, it's because we both are contesting this choke point of getting into the fight. So if one of us goes and doesn't match the damage from the other one, they're gonna die. So we got locked into combat there and I'm okay with that. I didn't commit this way, I'm standing over here, so I have an easy way out. And so after we both trade initial cooldowns and I dodge the stun, I then reset and I enter the fight again from a different angle. Where I won't be contested by Heimerdinger. I kind of want this plate because it looks kind of free. That'd be a bit greedy though. Because if you miss a plate and then you miss the wave. If you get the plate but you miss the wave after, it's really not that good. So... <laughs> I, you know, on the red-white-green swap, you can always look for a little scrap. No problem. You don't want zero problems! I'll put a tower down for damage and I'm out of here. And that is just how you play. Thalios, guys. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel. Check out my Twitch channel, okay? I'm trying to grow a Twitch stream. And a YouTube channel. I need your help. I need your help. But yeah, uh, okay, anyways, back to the commentary. So I'm in a really good spot. When you're in this situation as a Felios, the best thing you can do is actually not force your lead too hard. You should obviously be contesting things you should be contesting, but don't start playing like a maniac and throw your lead because you will get punished. So I see Fiddle 6's top side. I'm in a 2v1, which means I should just chill out unless they're face checking me here, which it looks like she's going to. I'll just take a quick trade. Really good poke. So Ophelius is usually really bad at 2v1, but because I'm so far ahead, it's actually playable. And it's not too bad, because I have Mythic and they don't. On my ulti, I could look to 2v1, but not before that. These guns are great for securing kills with your Calibrum grab, but not before that. Looks like my Braum is locked in some support combat. She definitely took the Blast Cone. I'll throw a random Q out. Doesn't do anything. 
This Gnar is a problem. This Gnar is a problem, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, why do I have to carry every... I, uh, you know, I, I, no, I, 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 actually it's good that I'm carrying every game. Looks, looks good. Um, yeah, so I just don't pressure here. Then the Zoe probably recalled. They're gonna want to pressure me as soon as they get back on the map. So instead, I'm just gonna take camps here. I'm gonna take golems. Be efficient with my time. And you know, look at this little Inferno golem action. Banger. I can just wait for Iron to shove. It should be pushing into me. Catch the wave. They all come in top side, so actually right here is an opportunity to go for a kill. This guy is running it down. I knew this I knew this guy was bad news. The moment I OPGG'd my team and I looked at them, I, I knew Pineapple 13 was gonna <laughs> was gonna give me a hard time, dude. I was like, oh man. Do I dodge? But I already dodged like three lobbies. I couldn't afford to dodge another. So I decided to get the pineapple 13 treatment, dude. Uh, and I'm just gonna recall here. And I'm gonna be looking to be ready to fight for the drag. One minute beforehand means I have ample time to actually reset. And then I'm gonna get my collector. I'm really freaking strong. If my team stops running it down, I think I have a really good shot at winning this fight and this game. But yikes, DGen move says no, he's not interested. Fantastic. Let's see if Pineapple 13 can change things up and it looks like it's rough. And so I actually really do want to be in this mid lane fight, guys. But the thing is, the best way to play the game is actually you don't going for certain fights is good. But missing a humongous wave like this ball wave, for example, would be really bad because what ends up happening is you fall behind in EXP and you commit resources towards a fight that is not like a high probability of being won, forcing you into a really awkward situation. I'm gonna check if Heimer's rotating here. I'm strong enough to face tank Heimer damage, so I'm okay with just playing up here. Maybe baiting on his stun. He's scared. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this dude. So every single fight, I'm gonna need to be ready to match Fiddlesticks and not get owned by him. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, fight this, fight this. Don't d stop, stop, stop. What are you contesting here? What are you doing? Stop it. <sighs> I, I thought my Inferno ult was going to hit Zoe and I didn't reposition for the Gnar. And I burn flash. Heimer rotated right away. I thought Heimer would shut out bot first. Maybe he shoved it out really fast. Unfortunate. It's going to be a hard game. This is going to be a hard game. Especially burning flash that randomly is like not good. I'll have it up for the next objective though. <laughs> Usually you want like one reliable person in games like this, but my whole team like seems pretty unreliable on the cannon here. He's gonna go for it, dude. Come. That's fine. Ooh. That Brom is actually decent. We got Heimer for flash for free. Dude, like, I'm so strong. I can carry. I need I Three items, I'm winning this game. Three items, I will carry this game. Sure. Why not? I think Fid's here. Dude, whenever I'm telling you, whenever you're in this situation, Fiddlesticks is here, okay? You, you guys know Fiddlesticks is here. Fiddle 6 to be on Baron. Fiddle 6 is here. Okay, unless you have information that Fiddle 6 is not here, Fiddle 6 is here. I want to fight these guys really bad here. I'm looking to go. Get me in there, dude.
Well, you know what? Fiddlesticks is there. So, great. You know what? He's... He, I, 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 I called it, okay? He was, he was there the whole time. He, he, I mean, he, he was there, okay? Like, I, I, I called it. And, and uh, Sean got a kill. Great. I'm a little bit tilted right now. I'm not... I'm a little bit tilted right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um... I feel that. I was playing very well earlier. This game. And a lot of unfortunate things have been happening, but you know what? I gotta focus on the present. I will focus up. We will get there. We will get there. The hammer dinger sucks, I'm not losing to him. Boom! Let's go! Oh yeah, it's Baron. Yo, I'm down. My guy has a 700 GT bounty. Okay. Looks like Zach is a little demoralized. He's a little bit late on the rotation to make any play here. Whatsoever. That's okay. I'm gonna go for right here, I think. Dude, if they fight top, I'm, I want to be here though. Like, I want to be here and like give them some damage. So I, I bet you it looks, it looks. Oh yeah, right here. Trying to hit this guy right here. I'm down. I'm. This looks decent. Yo, come on. Get the passive. Come on. Seven hundred gold. Bounty. Ulti on this guy. Me. Yo. Did I just curse? I'm getting demonetized now too. This video sucks. Okay. Great. I'm- I'm- and just like that, I'm back on top, baby. Oh my goodness, Talon's coming for me. They're all coming for me. Like, and I'm sorry about the cough drop. Th these commentaries, they're killing me, okay? Mentally, they're killing me. I got I gotta take a cough drop. This is really good, though. I'm close to three items, we don't even need to contest this drag. I'll be in a good spot to uh, carry. Well, I'll be in a really good spot. Man, pineapple, dude. Nobody cares about your mental breakdown, okay? Just take a break after this game. I'm here to win. I'm here to make a YouTube video. I'm gonna make an idea. I gotta, I gotta really pay attention to the map though. Like I can feel myself autopiloting a bit and it's like certain games you actually can autopilot. Like it doesn't matter. Against the fiddle six, you really can't. You really freaking can't. Fresh ward means though he's just here. Armor's hard setting mid, so I always have to be here right away. Against fast shoving teams, you gotta catch the wave as soon as possible. Nice. Dude, I'm getting so close to IE. This is actually really good. Like, I'm getting there. I'm gonna hover this play. Aurelia, please win. Auto. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ooh. It Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yo, dude, I'm so close to IE. It's like actually really good. So this this wave has IE. I have flash. Dude, next fight is mine. Okay? I'll, I promise you I stopped trolling. Next fight is mine, 100%. Like, Sean, bro. Pineapple, dude. Think about it. Okay, you haven't done anything. This whole... Oh my god, he's motivated. Either way, I'll get a Gromp and I'm gonna reset because for me, the most important thing is the IE and there's nothing I can do to like save my team here. They're all, they're all, they're all off their minds. I'm just gonna play for myself here. If he wants to make plays, that's fine. Um, ulti? They did like no damage. I don't know. I'm back on the map. Dude, I'm so strong. I'm ready to fight. So when you're at three items, like this is when you kind of want to ping your teammates objectives and be like, yo, like, listen, I know. This game has been terrible. It's been up and down. It's been embarrassing for all of us to even be here. This is Masters MMR. It's looking like Donkey 4, okay? I know. I know. I don't want to be here. But the, the fact of the matter is we're here, okay? We're here playing in Donkey 4. And we gotta, we gotta clean it up and make the great escape. So I'm gonna rotate towards top. I just cleared bot though, because Aurelia was dead. So no matter what, like, someone had to clear that wave. And there's a Talon on the hunt, apparently. I don't really mind fighting him. He has a lot of HP. He's strong, don't get me wrong. 
but I mean, basically the way the fights are going to go is I just wait for cooldowns, I just wait for people to fight, and then I show up later, go boom one up at SRO, and clean up the fight, essentially. You catch my drift? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, boom what up, it's SRO. Uh, my Brahm is caught, yo. Boom what up. And Fiddle's ulting in, I'm gonna burn my Infernum here. I'll put a tower down. And I'm down to fight this. This looks really good. And I'm just playing it really slow. Nar, you're broken. Your, your, your ankles are broken, buddy. I'm sorry. And we go do Baron. Looks super free. Uh, fit on the ulti. Just kidding, our Nar is... Our, our Zag lost his mind. I, I think Baron looks really free here though, so I, I really like to just go Baron here. Um, I'm gonna try to burn Seb as fast as possible. I think Akshan should check here, but no one's checking here. This is a little bit risky now, because we ain't clear. But I think we're good to go. Um, it'll burn his cooldowns, he can't get over the wall. Fantastic. This drag is also really important. I think their team comp with drag is uh, Cloud Soul is really frustrating. So ideally, we don't have to deal with that. Uh, I had the option of getting QSS here, and I am going to go for it. And the reason why QSS is awesome here, it gives me magic resist, and it gives me counterplay towards a lot of their champions. Actually, but I do have cleanse. That's my only issue. When you go QSS and cleanse, it does feel like you're double dipping. It really does. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing here, though. I think I can make I can make do with the stats. My other option is to go Bloodthirster, but I feel that that's going into Serpent's Fang, so I will go the Quick Silver Sash. Yep. You know what? Let's do it. The stats are nice. I I don't really understand how Braum even manages to get caught there, like... The, 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 the drag's just not even, like, close to spawning. I mean, yes, getting vision early is good, I agree, but... Um... Like, uh, like eh, eh. So yeah, basically... In this situation, I can choose which order I want to use it in, like QSS, Cleanse. Because I have Nimbus Cloak, I should use uh, Cleanse in situations where I want to move and speed buff, and then QSS for just simple disables that I want to get by. I really don't like being here. Yeah, see Talon's looking at me. So I can't actually commit to these fights at all. But we have to walk in. Please go. Uh, I think I might do that fight. So, I I would say that I set my team up like pretty well, in the sense that I got the grab on Zoe to force her really low. I got the ult on Hammer, guaranteed a kill. But I wasn't respectful of Talon and Fiddle. The nice part about that fight was the fact that no one else was stacked on me, so they commit two ultis towards Ophelios. Which, obviously, I am the biggest threat on the team, but, like, Aurelia and Akshan are still doing a lot of damage because they're back in the game now. So, like, one-man ulti on me is, like, not gonna win them the game, and actually threw them the fight because they had no more cooldowns to kill the rest of our team. When it, like, you can't let an Aurelia live. If an Aurelia sustains a fight, she's going to run you over because she's gonna have max passive stacks. So, it ends up working out for us. Um... I think that it was okay for me to Q onto Zoe there, but I would say probably my cover moment was a bit int, and uh, I probably shouldn't be going for that. At the same time though, it's really hard to play Aphelios into that team comp without flash up, and so no matter how I play that, it there's a very high chance that I die. And yeah, uh, it did go towards the Serpent's Fang, so I'm glad I didn't go Bloodthirster, because the main person I'm going to be fighting, if Talon's playing properly, is going to be Talon. So, I'm glad I'm not double dipping towards Bloodthirster, and I'll continue to get pinks to light up the jungle and make sure I know what angles I'm fighting towards, and this can work in two ways. I can clear areas where I'm walking towards to make sure they don't have vision on me so they don't know where I'm standing, and if I'm scared of them, I can put wards defensively and say, okay, this angle is clear, and I kind of know roughly where I'm going to be attacked from. 
Okay, so it's always good, even like if you're clear on vision, you can save your vision for fighting and it actually can make a difference in team fights. Drag is in our Baron's in two minutes, and I normally would help my support go for vision, but I'm not really looking to die in any of these scenarios, so I'm playing it pretty cautious and I'm just gonna put a little bit of vision down here because there's no uh, immediate spawn time. I'll put a blue trinket down defensively, and this is fine because um, I don't like what's going on here. And when you go towards the minion hip without taking the inners against champs like Fiddle and Talon, it opens your flanks like really, really hard. So that's not good. You never, you never want to go for those when you have inner tower still available. So what we do is Aurelia is finally shoving towards the inner. We can keep shoving mid out and then we can rotate towards her after. But Baron's also going to be spawning on that timing, so... Ow! You get a lot of damage by having MR, it's kind of crazy. This is looking really rough. I think Fit's about to ult in, so I'm going to play it really slow. Wait for the Fiddle ulti. Sure. Okay, we got Fiddle ult. Nice. See, I just play these fights so slow. That's how you gotta play against Talon Fiddle. It's like, yo, I'll do the damage, okay? I got Shield Bow. I'll come in and clean up. I gotta be really patient, though. I, I can't just randomly go in. It's, it's gotta be a slow burner. We can't go in too fast. I think we can end here, so I'm gonna force the end. Red, white, green. If not, looks like the wrong way. He just dies, okay? Oh, he's looking at me the wrong way. Oh, you are looking at me the wrong way, my guy. And so I'm gonna go for the end. Talon spawning soon, but I'm going for it. Uh! God! I should have put my tower down earlier, right before the minion spawned. I actually think we had that. They might have Baron now. That was really bad. I think I could have got it. I got worried that the minions were there, but I, I think if I put the tower down earlier, we would have had that. That's really bad though. I don't have flash anymore, and my team is like tilt fighting now because they're like, oh, we should have been it. What the heck is this, guys? We're numbers down in the jungle. This is crazy. We can get the Baron. Let's play for drag. <sighs> and so in this situation, a really good item is actually Rapid Fire Cannon. One auto on any of these guys would be fantastic. I will change this. If my team dies here, I'll go towards Runons because I would need to just save the game. But it looks like we're going to be okay. The game's still playable. Even even though I trolled a bit, the game's still playable. I want to pot here, but I can't. I don't have time. Just going to get back out there. Do my thing. Okay. Going to get back out there. Going to do our thing. Take red buff. Get this drag. Get Baron. We're good to go. Talon actually might be looking at me, so I'm gonna put some wards down in like some weird spots and just be ready to fight him. So what I like doing here in this situation is I actually like putting the towers at the entrances. So now if anyone approaches from this angle, I got them and it'll be really easy. Don't like too much grab here. I think we go straight to Baron. This can help us force a fight. I don't even think we need to start Baron. But their, their comp is just falling off really hard. My team is pinging for mid lane. Mm. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a fight. Sleep lands. Fiddle's ulting. I see where Fiddle's coming from. And I think we should two-man Baron. I, I think they have a really hard time entering. So I think I could just rush it down with my jungler. I, I need somebody. Like, their jungler's not close, guys. Thank you. I enjoy these guns, but you're gonna run out of them pretty soon. So I'll swap them out. One grab is really nice against their team. And Aurelia could turn this really easily. I'm not too sure why she's not. Nara's mega. And I'm just gonna run. I think we just run here, guys. 
I have Q Assassin Flash, so. Woo! I, I, I don't quite know what my team is trying to accomplish here. Fiddle has yet to ult, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was a weird fight. Like, why is that fight even happening? Because we're getting Baron. Like, Sean's greeting mid. Uh, it was really tempting to have Rune on that fight, but just 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 because it was like tempting, everyone was like, maybe RFC is better here. RFC, I guarantee, is better here. So we're fine. They're pinging mid. I I disagree. I think running mid here is actually really hard. They have a Heimerdinger. So instead of running mid, I think we should be going bot and we should get their uh, bot towers. And then someone can pressure the in, but I would much rather go bot here where they don't have any flank angles. I still don't have flash yet, making it really hard for me to approach. Uh, guys, if anyone could be here, that would be awesome. I can't be the one to face check though. Like, I, I need my people to migrate to the mid lane or the bot lane. Um, I need... Vamos, man! Like, what's the holdup? You're seven feet tall, just walk. Sheesh. See, like, you send your teammates out there. Now, it's worry-free. They can fight Talon. Fiddle can ult in. I don't really care. I'm safe. Like, Sean's kind of inting it down the mid lane again. I see Fiddle, and I'm, I'm always eyes on Fiddle, okay? Fiddle might ult onto here. I'm alright. I'm chilling. You can go for Fiddle. I'm waiting for my flash before I go any, before I position aggressive at all, I'm waiting for my flash. And I'm letting Baron do all the work. Against champs like Fiddle, you have to just let Baron do all the work. They hate it when you don't like overcommit. Because once you hit towers, that's when they're gonna go. If you never hit the tower and you just let Baron do all the work, they're just gonna be like, oh my god, like please let us hit, bro. And our Akshan is down for a count again. No one expected the grief coming out from Pineapple. Wow, there's still a ward that needs to be cleared. Th you know what though? Like our team took so long, so long to get down to the bot lane. I had to pick my Zack up. This seven foot monster, I had to say, come on, move. I'm just bot, but he's TP, so these fights still look pretty dangerous. I have flash, which means I'm pretty 1v9 at this point. I'm down for any fight, really. I could start swapping out my boots soon, but I generally keep my boots because I think movement speed is really good. The one thing you can swap out at this point in the game is you usually could swap out your shield bow for gale force though. So my next recall, if I still have shield bow, I could probably swap that for gale force and clean up for a fight. And I like to use my blue trinkets defensively because walking into a jungle can get pretty dangerous late game. So I just blue trinket the entrances and it makes it a lot easier for me to enter. And I'm probably going to be playing for red, right, green now because I'm just so low on ammo at this point. I need my teammates to find Talon though. No. Like Sean again is not shoving out mid, but like having mid lane shoved out is the most important thing at this point. So, and obviously eyes on the mini map, just looking at the fight. I'm in the bot spot, gonna sever the reposition here. I'm here. I'm gonna hold for Inferno Mult because Inferno Mult could swing this game. I do like entering the drag fights from bot angle. We need a ward over here. I'm ready for anything. I need- dude, where's our vision? We have absolutely no vision right now. Alright though. They're approaching us. Zach has a quick little engage. Gonna Q. Ulti on top. With the ulti. Gonna put the tower down. Thank you for my ult over here. Pretty low damage right now. Hmm, unfortunate.
But I'll last ult again, probably. Oof, man. I cleansed too early. So that's like the one issue about taking that fight, though. I had Calvin grab. My damage was pretty trash that fight. Also, he is kind of tanky. At this point in the game, I could probably swap out my collector for LDR because they have armor. Hmm. <sighs> Rough one. Yeah, we could try this. We could try this. I think this might feel a bit better at this point in the game. Unfortunate. I could have played a bit more aggressive. I also with my ulti, I think I should have ulted right onto um, the first Zac Q. I should have used my ulti right away instead of uh, holding my Q. Or holding it. That was a waste. I should have just ulted. Even, I, I think just queuing is kind of troll. Um, I'm going to do something a bit ambitious here. Oh, I really don't like that they're fighting without me. I'm just caught. He should die here. I need to shut out top. And then I can match my team. I'm down to play it in it though. Obviously one grab is good here. I have Gale Force. I'm gonna walk forward. I can one tap anyone. Let's go for it guys. Gonna wait for Fiddle ult. He's not even using it. Gonna Cyberman. in. I'll hit and we can just kill him instantly. Awesome. Hey, that should be game. I still have my flash though. Uh, I think that's fine. I think like if I waste my flash, like that last fight I drag, even even though I lost that fight, I knew it wouldn't be like game. So having my flash up for after like get drag and get Baron is probably more important. So I'm okay with that. And then I think we got it. 40 minute slugfest, but we take those. Guys, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And check me out on Twitch. Uh, I can probably show the damage charts, but I didn't do too much damage this game. It's more of a macro focus game, but hey, hey, like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.